The government, however, is of the view that though investigations are not yet completed, the public must be informed in very broad outlines of the facts and circumstances leading to the arrest of Air Marshal Otu and his ADC. In early December 1966, Air Marshal Otu, then commander of the Ghana Air Force, proceeded to London on duty in the company on the 16th of September 1968, Air Marshal Otu went to London on leave. Between this date and the 1st of October 1968, Air Marshal and Neville Lieutenant Kwapong held meetings with Kwesiyama and others to formulate detailed plans for the overthrow of the National Liberation Council and the return of Nkrumah to Ghana on or about the 24th of December 1968. The Air Marshal is said to have promised that on or about the 24th of December this year, he would cause the capture of various strategic points in Ghana. Simultaneously with these operations, there was to be an announcement on the Ghana Broadcasting Network that Nkrumah had returned and was proceeding to the capital. It is significant, and on the 10th of October 1968, that is barely 10 days after the conclusion of the London meetings between the Air Marshal and Kwesiema and his executive, two Soviet trawlers were spotted at Buzia Island, a few miles off the Ghana coast, with a crew engaged in friendly exchanges with the fisher folk of that island. The Russian crew have since said that they were on a monkey and parrot buying expedition. But having regard to the information now at the disposal of the government, it is believed that the trawlers were on a reconnaissance mission pursuant to the plans finalized in London between the 16th of September and the 1st of October. In this connection, it is significant that in the course of interrogation, one of the captains of the fishing trawlers admitted to the interrogator that he caused to be destroyed the logbook, the radio message pad, and all the documents which such vessels normally carry while flying on the high seas. The two trawlers now under arrest at Takoid Harbor have been identified by some of the former Ghanaian security officers who recently returned from Guinea as two of three Soviet trawlers based at Conakry whose officers were in regular and continuous contact with Nkrumah and his advisors. It is also significant that although the Air Marshal and his ADC returned to Ghana on the 13th of October 1968, they did not, at any time before the arrest, report the subversive London meetings with Kesiyama and his group. <laughs>